He's already kicking the camera. Are you done? No. Done destroying my life? That was rude. <laughs> just kidding. Sometimes your dog just messed up our first go at this. Yes, this is round two for us. <sighs> Hi guys, my name is Jen and this is my channel Embracing Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are a returning friend, welcome back. We're very happy to have every single one of you here. Today, Mr. Chaos, Mr. Chaos, Steve, average model guy, are here to share with you a random spring question tag. Now these tags are created by Sandy over at Life with Sandy. I will link her channel down below as well as all of the other participants. So please make sure you go check them out. You will not be disappointed. Lots of laughs and smiles and information for sure. So let's go ahead and get started for April's edition of No Tag Tuesday. All right, question. I sounded really professional. Yeah, too professional. We're not. What is that? Is that Brendan? Yes, gosh darn. It's either Chula or Brendan. Yeah. Whatever. Keep going. All right, we question. can do this. We can't win today. Let's just record. Question right. number one. Number one. What temperature does it have to reach before you ditch your coat? I don't wear coats. If I have a coat on, it's probably below zero. Otherwise, there's no coat for me. They just get in my way. I always have them in my car with me, though, just in case. Yeah, 50s, 60s, I can ditch my coat. And I'm okay. He's yeah. outside a lot more than me, too. Yeah. Yep. All right. Question number two. Do you have a green thumb? If yes, what is your favorite thing to grow? So I have a greenish yellow thumb. <laughs> it's more that I can take good care of plants and garden and do herb gardens and all that fun stuff. But I have a very lacking attention span and I forget to water them a lot. So yeah, but I like to grow everything right now. I'm sure you guys have seen in my videos. I've got a lot of succulents and house plants and stuff going on over here to the side. So yep. and they're all doing okay. Yeah, they're actually not bad. I put the bad ones in the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're really There's a couple ones. that need some band-aids, but yeah. Yeah. I don't have a green thumb. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Unless I accidentally paint it when I'm working on my models. Then yes. I'll have a green thumb. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number three. What is your favorite thing to do with the extra hour of daylight? I like to sit outside and enjoy the view. We live out in the country and we've got a river. Well, directly behind us, there's a cornfield. And on the other side of the cornfield is woods and a river so we got a lot of pretty stuff to look at yep i like to go for a walk yes i like to do that too yep all right number four what are your three favorite things to bring to a picnic the main course dessert and drinks i don't think that's what they meant okay food of course um i don't know it doesn't necessarily count as something i bring but i like to go to a park or something like that so we can kind of walk around or play basketball or tennis or whatever they have available and then i like to take my phone so i can take pictures mm -hmm. yeah phone fishing poles and food mm -hmm. the three f's yes you're right mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all right number five do you prefer Rainy spring days or sunny spring days? Enough of the rain. Yes. Enough rain. No. I know we need it. I know we do once in a while, but let's do warm summer rain once in a while when we need it and just let the spring air warm up. Yes. Bring on the sun. Yes. It rained enough this winter. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it didn't snow, rained. So yeah. when you get three thunderstorms in the middle of winter, yeah, that's the well, rain. In Mother Nature's defense, one of the thunderstorms was during a snowstorm. It wasn't raining. No, true. So there's that. Okay, fine. I never had thunder and lightning during a snowstorm before. Yeah, that was weird. That was really weird. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, so obviously we both prefer sunny days. Yes. Sunny days. Straight to it. Um, no more. What? I was just trying to go down to the same street. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. If you could teleport 
And in parentheses, it says, Kim, you don't have to fly. <laughs> okay. Your arms would get tired after a little bit, too, anyways, oh, if you nice. tried to fly. Uh, anywhere in the world for spring break, where would it be? Just one week? Yeah. Well, spring break's a week. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, if it's just a week, I want to go to Texas. I want to go to South Padre Island in Texas and stay on the beach. I want to come, too. I know. Dean, don't be too excited about it. Yay! Thank you. You're welcome. All right. What is your least favorite spring cleaning chore? Least favorite. All of it. All I of hate it. cleaning. Honestly, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not a big spring cleaner. Like I go through bursts mm -hmm. all year long, not necessarily spring cleaning. So. Yeah. Clean the garage. Everything seems to accumulate in the garage over the winter. Over the winter? Over the winter, spring, yes. Spring, summer, and fall? No, over the winter. Really? It was cleaned out prior to winter. Yes, it was. Per whose standards, sir? Was. That it wasn't clean. In fact, weren't you supposed to clean the garage last week since the kids had spring break and you didn't have track practice all week? <sighs> yes, I was supposed to. Did you do it? Nope. I didn't even check. Mm -mm. But I'm not surprised. <laughs> all right, you can do it when we're done recording. If anybody needs two perfectly good used washing machines, let me know because oh I have them out in the garage. Yeah, there's that too. Yeah. I'm sure you've perfectly heard about good. That. Perfectly used. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba, where are we? Uh, when you cook, this is question number eight. When you cook, are you a clean as you go person or clean it up when finished? I already know your answer and I know mine. Well, if you didn't clean up for me while I was cooking, I would probably just clean up afterwards. I like to focus on what I'm doing. I'm going to clean as you go. Since I dirty something, I'm over in the sink washing it off. Yep. Yep. All right. Question number nine. What was, is your biggest life challenge you've ever experienced? You know what? Probably being a teen mom. That was a big struggle for me. I had Ariana when I was 17. Um, I was a junior in high school, but I was taking, when I found out I was pregnant, I took all of my junior and senior classes at the same time so I could graduate a year early. And then I got married to her dad when she was a month old, and he joined the military. And right before my 18th birthday, Ariana, my ex-husband now, um, and myself moved down to Florida, like two days drive away from my entire family. So that was, that was tough. Mine is um, Ariana's health. That has been a, a major challenge. Yeah, it can be challenging. A uh, lot, lot to do there. But mm -hmm. definitely worth it. Yep, definitely. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, question number 10. What is the one sentimental item you own that you will ne never get rid of? My blanket. My baby blanket. I still have it. I'm 43 years old and I still have my baby blanket. I don't sleep with it. I had to wrap it up in plastic because it was falling apart, but I do still have it and I won't ever, ever get rid of it. So. I have a huge tote full of sentimental stuff. It has my baby blanket in there. Yeah. But a lot of other stuff, newspaper clippings from when I was a kid, baseball cards, stuff I made in school. Drawings. Several tubs. You have at least two. Yeah, one's got my Navy stuff in it, and then the other one's like all my stuff from growing up. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't get rid of that stuff. Yeah. So, yep. And that was it. Oh, wow. That was quick. Mm -hmm. You guys got lucky on this one. You didn't have to listen to us for too long. No. Under 10 minutes. We Are we? Butt. Yeah. Oh, look at us. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Wrap this up. <laughs> right. Got 45 seconds. Thanks again to Sandy for setting up these questions for us. These are great questions. Perfect for springtime. If you guys haven't already, if you give this video a thumbs up, we'd really appreciate it. It helps to show YouTube that you guys are enjoying our content and encourages them to promote our videos so we can continue to grow our YouTube family. And speaking of YouTube family, guys, if you're not subscribed, all you have to do is click on that little button to me down in the corner and you will be instant YouTube family and we would love the chance to get to know you better. All right, guys. Thanks again to Sandy. Make sure you go check her out as well as all the other fantastic YouTubers. I couldn't remember if I had said that or not. Go check them out. And until next time, keep smiling. Bye, guys.